to simplify this expression, so we use two methods. Method one is we find the LCM first. So we have this on the LCM of root 3 and root 2 is root 3 times root 2. Root 3 times root 2. Now root 3 will go here root 2 times. We have 2 multiplying this numerator over here. So 2 multiplying this numerator and minus this will go here with 3 times. So 3 multiplying this numerator. So this will give us this over here. Now the next thing is to simplify further by expanding the bracket. So we expand the bracket now. So we have this. So now we three multiply we two multiplies out to give us two root two. Then we have root three times root two over here. Root three times root two over here. Then so let me take this out. Then we have this one to open the bracket. We now root two times root two. So 3 times 2, then we have 2, 3 over here. So we have this. Now, simplify further. We know that root 3 root 2, and then it's root 3 root 2 give us 0. So we have this being 0. Then also, this will give us root 3 root 2. Root 3 root 2. If you like, can multiply out to get root 6. But let's maintain it for now. So simplify further to obtain this. Then now this will give us the numerator will be with six. Let's multiply out. So we have a six here. We have a six here. Then now we can rationalize. So let's rationalize. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by with six to obtain something like this. Then we now multiply out the numerators and the denominators separately. So this numerator multiplied then with 6. And with 6 times with 6 will give us 6. So we expand the bracket now again to obtain this will give us 4 root 3. Then this will give us 6 root 2. Now we simplify further by sharing the numerator, splitting the numerator, the numerator. So we have 4 root 3 over 6, then 6 root 2 over 6. So this will simplify further. So we now 2 go here, 2 times, 2 go here, 3 times. Then the 6 will cancel the 6, we have this. Now let's look at another method, we rationalize first. So we have these two. Simplify so we rationalize each of the sets. So we then multiply this one by root 3 over root 3, then this one to over root 2, by root 2 over root 2. Then we are going to get something like this. So this was what we expanded to get that, rationalize to get that. But simplify further. So multiplying the numerators are like we did in the first one. And the numerators also multiply them out. So we have this root two by root two. Now let's simplify further. So three root three will give us three. And root two root two give us two. So we expand the bracket to obtain something like this. We three times we three. And this one to so get something like this. We two times we two. Then plus two root two. So now we proceed further by collecting LCM. We can simplify this to get 3, simplify this one too to get 2. So let's now find the LCM. Now 
500 to 6. So, you know, we're going to 6 two times, so 2 multiplying this thing out over here. So, we have 2 multiplying this. Then, over here, since there's a mistake here, it has goes to be minus. So, we have minus then 3 times whatever is there. So, you have this simplify further to obtain this. So, we multiply out to get 4 with 3, and this will give us 6. So, it is now that we get the price. So, it was supposed to be minus. It was supposed to be minus. So, now we get the price inside here. So we get a price inside here, and 6 for 2. So we get something like this, and something like this. So we see minus 6 will be 0, so we have something like this. Then we split the numerator again. So we have this 4 over 3, 2 over 3, over three. then that's root 2. Question 1b. Mr. Kofi sold a machine made and made a profit of 15%. A buyer later sold it to Mr. Nana at a loss of 10%. If Mr. Nana paid 20,700 cities for the machine, how much did Mr. Kofi buy it? Okay. So let's start from here. We don't know how much Mr. Kofi bought it. So let's see. So Mr. Kofi bought it as at X than as it is. So how how much will Mr. Kofi sell it? If well, you wanted to make a pro to make a profit of fifteen percent, so Mr. Kofi sold it at this price, which is one point one five X. Can I see this? Now look at something, Mr. Nana paid 20700 for the machine. Now they said, the person who bought it at this price also made a loss of 10%. So the buyer bought it at this price, 1.15x. And he sold it at So now you can see that the buyer bought it at this price, 1.15x, and sold it. He said that he made a profit of, he made a loss of 10%. So 10% of the price that he bought it is 10 over 100 times 1.15x. So this is the price he bought it minus that. So that to give him a loss of 10%. So if you simplify that, we get this as the selling price. So this is the selling price from the buyer. Next, we learn that we learn that Mr. We learn that Mr. Nana paid 20,000 700 cities 
for that. So how much did Mr. Nana buy it from the buyer? It is this price. So Mr. Nana bought it at this price and we know that the amount of money he paid for it is 20,700. So this price is equal to 20,700. So we equate the variable price. So the variable price is this. And the known price is 20,700. Now we solve this equation for x. When we simplify this, we get x to be equal to 20,000 so x is equal to 20,000 cities. So, Mr. Mr. Kofi bought it at that price. So Mr. Kofi bought a machine at the price 20,000 cities.